She is doing her graduation speech and her graduation ceremony, and she is a youth mentor. My name is Andrea Vazquez and I'm the proud recipient of the Mario Iquides Scholarship. Dr. Mario Iquides, known as the mother of bilingual education, was born in 1908 in downtown Tucson and graduated from Tucson High School. Even though she had a passion for singing opera, she also found a passion for education. Her pride for her Mexican-American heritage and its Spanish language motivated her to defend bilingual education. For this reason, she attended Tempe College for Teachers, as she was also her class valedictorian. In addition, she attended the University of Arizona and earned a master's degree in education. Because of her dedication towards education and her impact on the community, Dino Arquides Elementary School is named after her. Dr. Maria Arquides is a woman to be honored. I would now like to introduce Jessica Galvan, she is a military wife and is very excited to finally be starting the nursing program at Pima Janitor after being on the waiting list for about a year and a half. <laughs> the Dr. Candido and Olga Mercado Scholarship. Olga Mercado completed her post-baccalaureate studies in bilingual education and received her EFL endorsement from the U of A. Her 22 years of bilingual education teaching experience includes team teaching in pre-kinder, kinder, and first and second grade. Her teaching emphasis has been in bilingual, developmentally appropriate curriculum in early childhood education. Olga established strong ties with the Tucson Hispanic community through home visits and parenting training. She retired from the Tucson Unified School District in 2005. Dr. Candido Mercado <coughs> completed his doctoral degree from the U of A in 1986. For over 20 years, in partnership with local school districts, he has devoted his professional life to develop and supervise federally funded bilingual education programs at Pima Community College. Dr. Mercado's professional skills and interests include bilingual education, minority cultures and concerns, organizational models, student mentoring and counseling, and academic and career planning. He retired from Pima Community College in 2006. I'll now pass it over to the next recipient, um, he went to college right after graduation to get into the medical field and decided to first become a certified nursing assistant. He currently works for Concentric Healthcare and truly enjoys what he does because he gets to go to many hospitals, hospices, and nursing homes around Tucson. He is going to college to become a registered nurse because he enjoys helping people and has enjoyed doing so ever since he was little. He's also very competitive and always tries to improve in everything he does from learning to video games to instruments. He's been playing the guitar since he was seven years old, and he also knows how to play the drums and the bass guitar. So here's the multi-talented Umberto Renova. Hey, my name is Umberto Renova, and I'm the proud recipient of the Martina Garcia de Duran Serra Scholarship. Martina Garcia de Duran Serra was born in Douglas, Arizona, on April 7, 1934, to a family of migrant workers. She spent her childhood in Agua Prieta, Sonora, Mexico, and her adolescence in Douglas, Arizona. She graduated with honors from Douglas High School in 1954. Martina received her BA in Spanish language education from the University of Arizona in 1958, where she was a campus leader inducted into the honorary and was one of the founding members of Los Universitarios, a student-run organization of predominantly Spanish-speaking students. Martina taught ESL and Spanish language at Rincon High School while pursuing her MA degree. She was the foreign language representative to the TUSD School Board and taught language methodology courses at the U of A. In the 1970s, she established languages in the elementary schools program in Iowa, which incorporated language lessons during the day, taught by professors and graduate students from the University of Iowa. Her language program is now district-wide. Now, I'll be introducing Preston Gallagher. He is an 18-year-old student who will be graduating from Tucson High School with a performance arts endorsement. He loves to dance work, and he also loves to act. 
Preston also made it to the Arizona State Tennis Singles Tournament this year. Everybody give it up for Preston Gallagher.